friends. Hello, our friends. I hope this is all working okay. Okay, so today we have got a Posca pen sketchbook. Now, this has apparently Ooh. got specially made paper for paint markers because every time we have used paint markers on this channel, we have never had the correct paper for it and it's always chewed up the paper quite a lot. It's nasty. So, ah. very excited about this. This was sent to us from our friend Raven. Mm -hmm. uh, I've also brought some paint markers along for us to test. So we've got these glitter Poscas, which were sent to us from one of our subscribers called Katie. And we've also got these, I think they're called Atti Straw. Yeah. Oh, those look fancy. Materials, Atti Straw. So we've got these paint pens to be trying out. I am an Atti Straw. from Gabrielle. So thank you so thank much you. to these people. Leave that up in the corner in case they end up hiding around or something. Now. Oh no. You're gonna swatch them, aren't you? I'm particularly excited to finally open these up. Oh jeez. Because they are glitter Posca pens. I don't care what they are, swatching them's still a bad idea. <laughs> oh, they're still all wrapped up, so we're gonna have to get all these. Oh, do you want my help? Up. You might need some muscle for this. Well, let me muscle on <laughs> yeah, in on this. I need some <laughs> strong arms, <laughs> which I do not possess. <laughs> is Steph gonna swatch while his brain wet? God, isn't that true? I'm glad she's doing it and not me. I have to. Well, it's actually a good thing that we're live doing it because you guys get to sit through the whole thing like I always <laughs> have to. Okay, so it does say paint marker cartridge paper. It even says perfect for Posca. Which is what we're gonna use. There's one. I'll, I'll just like do them one at a time and pass them over to you. Let me grab that one as well. Oh, that's got a nice texture to that page. Oh, it's kind of like gecko-y skin. That's kind of cool. Ah, and apparently Art Gecko are um, a British company because it says they're made with care in Great Britain. <gasps> it better be good. They know where we live. <laughs> so the paper does sort of feel kind of like um, a smooth cardstock. Oh, we've got Ray here! So there's Ray who sent us the sketchbook. Thank you, Raven. I'll just uh This is such a bigger sketchbook that I'm used to like drawing. Well that's an A4, isn't it? That one. Yeah. So Yeah, you might have to give him a pop pop. Oh yeah, I can see that going down the mid. Oh, oh, oh. It's huge, it is huge, it's a big boy. It goes on so silkily. Is it smooth, yeah? Yeah. Oh that's what we want. Look at that. Such a teeny swatch on this. Oh my god, side. you're swatching these faster than I can open them. <laughs> there you go, you've done that one, yeah. so I'll put that there. Woo! Okay, I'll just do this to get like the paint running into the nibs because you guys know what paint markers. Forgot you're a swatch like. demon. Oh. Oh, oh, look at the colour of that. Uh, these ones, I might have to give them a wiggle for you in a bit to show you how yeah. they sparkle. You just got two more. Have you guys like used uh, Posca pens before? Because we've been toting them for years now. Oh, this one came out very quickly. Oh, that's a very deep purple. Oh, he's just pleased to see you. It's such a nice surface. Have like a little feel of it with your hand. You want me to get my grubby mitts on it? Right? <laughs> there you go, that's all of them. Sometimes you don't make it gross. Yeah. Oh yeah, the closest thing that reminds me to that I have used is uh, Bristol board. Yeah, it reminds that's what me it of that. feels like. Like a thick marker card. Yeah, like a thicker version of Bristol board, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's like such a, a red sparkly lipstick colour. I can tell that she's enjoying swatching them as well because the swatches are gradually getting bigger. <laughs> I'm trying to make them bigger because I realise how tiny... I'm so used to drawing into teeny tiny sketchbooks. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but I'm worried that they won't be able to see it if I keep doing it the size I was doing. Do you have any idea what it is you want to draw using these? Because I have to admit, I really like Posca pens, guys. I, I think they're they're great fun. But I never know what to do with them. Because <laughs> because you guys know I like really opaque, very faint like watercolours and pencils, stuff like that. Posca is so permanent, it makes me anxious. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm starting this stream off today. Did you notice? Yeah. Steph's like, oh, I can do it. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Save me, please. Save me. 
I don't know, I still have a go with them, but uh, I thought I'd take the pressure off. Quality them, like... might vary between Steph and myself. Look at how like those are gradually. <laughs> it looks like planets or something. It's really like cool. Like a solar system. Yeah. Oh, demo's here. Hey, up, oh, demo. Oh, I see Samar, Serena. Yeah, sorry guys. When when she's Is in Swatch it? mode, <laughs> when she's swatching, it's like not even I'm here. She loves a good swatch, does this one? I'll hazard a guess that Steph wants to draw geckos in the art. Geckos? That's a genius idea. You're you're geckos? I oh my god. <laughs> and you've got a green. You could do like a sparkly green gecko. That's pretty cool. And the fact that all of these are gifts as well, I'm scared I'm going to do a terrible job and everyone's going to hate me. <laughs> I'm so bad with gifts. Okay, so there's our little tree. That is quite nice. Do you nice. think they'll be able to see? If, they sh if they're struggling to see, I can give them a proper look, but I'll have to adjust the camera and stuff. That sounds like a lot of effort. <laughs> <laughs> she says as she puts it back down. Like, Actually, no. Okay, so let's open up these. Oh god, are we swatching them as well? <laughs> There's 42 in Christ here. Christ on a bike. I'm not. We'll see what chat says. The chat want to see if oh, yeah. all swatched. Vote or... now, guys. Do you want them to be so? Oh, it's... Why am I putting it in the hands of you guys? Oh Ooh. no! Oh no! <laughs> so many delicious oh, colours. No. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing a few yeses there. Oh no! What is that? <laughs> Too many. Okay, th that's a lot of yes. Did anyone say no? <laughs> Did anyone okay. say no? Let's see what these uh, markers are like. Oh, you're a sack of butts. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> a sack of butts. I'm gonna have to see all of these. <laughs> I wonder if you can see that. Okay, um, maybe with the darker one, it will show up. What are you trying to show, one? Just trying to show them what the barrel looks like on these. There, it shows up better on the darkest ones. So it says Artistra. Uh, can't see anywhere where it distinguishes paint colours. So have you guys ever heard of these? Because I have to admit, I didn't know these existed until we got sent them. I uh, well, I'd never heard of these. I watched someone do a review on one of these, and they gave it a very like shiny, wonderful review. Also, oh, they said they were but good. But oh. they were sent to them by the company. Oh, that's suspicious. I know, and that's a bit suspicious. That's a bit, I don't now, like that. Now, these have been sent to us by one of our subscribers, but our subscriber aren't, like, affiliated with the company or anything, so if they end up sucking, we can say thank you for the gift. Sadly, the gift sucked. Oh my god, <laughs> would, you, would you really say that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Which would be devastating. Steph's not holding back. Happen. Oh my. <laughs> People the want. Thanks, want for, an honest thanks for the terrible gift. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my word. I'm sure they won't be that terrible. <laughs> okay. Well, so far, there's nothing to uh, identify the colours, so Adam, who is our colourblind artist of the day. <laughs> there's at least like seven colours in that box. Yeah, you're going to get confused oh, with these. There is swatches on the back, but there's, ah, there's nothing that seems spotted. to correlate to the... Yeah, so we've got colour names on the back over here. Yeah, yeah. Apparently there's a silver and a gold as well. So oh, I reckon I'll be able to pick those out, okay. Yeah, I reckon you'll be able to find those. But this one, for example, I'm not sure if this one's blue, light blue, oh, there's some bloody sapphire same. blue. There's a few blues that this could potentially be. I'm going to call it sky blue. I, I was going to write sky blue, and then I realised that we don't actually know <laughs> that this one is. <laughs> Now these reckon that these can paint on like anything it, on the box. On anything? <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, it says on the box for these: glass, ceramic, porcelain, wood, canvas, metal, plastic, stone, paper, and more. Ooh, it's taken a while to get the. You got to pump them the same. Yeah. Let's see. Throw his box on. I'm trying. <laughs> The Poscas, they came out like a lot quicker and easier than... Unless maybe it's just this blue one that's being cranky. Steph's replaying it in her head. This gift sucks. <laughs> How dare they! Come on, Ben. ben we want to be able to say nice things Wait, about you. There you go. Try another work. one. And try another one and I'll try that one for you. Okay. We'll see if this one's just a bit Okay, sad. let's try a different blue one. 
because Lord knows we have plenty. <laughs> it's interesting that in the barrel, it doesn't look like it's like fully mixed together. Can you see how there's sort of like... Yeah. Um... There is like a ball bearing in it to mix. There is a ball in there. Maybe in yours, mine doesn't sound. It's just not have a ball. Oh wait, there we go. I think it was just stuck. Okay. Yeah, they might need they might need a good mix. And... Yeah, I think shaking it up has got the paint not looking so marble. Because the pigment might have unmixed with whatever like binder it's got. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one's coming out. Yeah, there you go. You yeah, might just have to give them a really good like wiggle. Oh, that's a really nice color. I really like that. Yeah, this one's starting to come out now as well, two seconds. Ooh. That's interesting. It feels kind of like it's, um... I'll give it more of like a, a shake in again, just to see how the colors go. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that one should work. I manhandled it with my man hands. A little bit more like scratchy than what Posca's are, I'd say. Are the tips like this similar? If I just if I pop a cap off this. No, I feel like they've got is there a way to show it like a bit more close up so we can Because this one's got sort of like a plastic case on it around. Oh yeah, the guys, head. move your faces closer to the screen. <laughs> Look at this. It is slightly different. How do you do it while you zoom in with the webcam? Uh, hold that. Can you remember? <laughs> I might be able to remember. Hold on. Hold on, chickadees. We're doing it live. See, Black Hearted Phoenix yelling, without the lid on is dangerous. <laughs> oh, looks like I did something dangerous at Adam's computer. <laughs> How could you? All right. I might be able to change the focus on it. So just give me two seconds. If I come into this and configure the video it'll go a bit blurry but that's because we're going to move things closer towards you okay so if i do this that's it now move the paint move them up towards the camera there you go there see? you go so if you can see on this blue one there's like a plastic casing around like the posca one does have one as well but it's less noticeable oh yeah i would say I, the tip on the posca one's more round it's not as sharp yeah when you're drawing with this one it has a bit more of a scratch to it and i think it's because sometimes that plastic casing kind of catches on it the catches on it yeah, yeah. Mm. a very like subtle observation i'll show them the swatches as well yeah while... get it up close so we can have a nice focus mm -hmm. oh yes you see any I promise those are sparkling in real life. Yeah, but I gotta admit, there's not a lot of glitter in them, but they do sparkle more. And then these are the swatches we were just doing. Mm-hmm. Now carry on, because you've got like 40 of these. <laughs> doing your head in. Just doing your head in. <laughs> that's too many. <laughs> okay, I need to make sure I've got the lids on everything. Yeah, else. yeah, that's a good idea. That will be a disaster otherwise. Oh, I'm going to sit in your chair. Oh. Okay, everyone, hang on to your hats, because we've got a lot of shaking and got ball shake bearing to do. Shake it, my dear. Oh, <laughs> I what's, cannot get the bird to come out of What's wrong, thing. honey? What's wrong, miss? Oh, let's watch all 42 of these two <laughs> things. What? You seem to be struggling over there. <laughs> you wouldn't enjoy me struggling, would you? I don't know, it feels pretty good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just get, let me sit there? Okay. Okay. Let, yep. God, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. The expert wants to help. I'm moving the light. Come here. feel two emotions right now. There's the frustration that we're having to swatch, but also impatience because <laughs> she's taking forever. Right, I'm here. Oh, hope you're ready for some speed swatching. Right, let's put those there because that's a static AF. Right, is it this one? Oh, you don't want the 
depends on that side because the shadow covers up the swatches. So. Ugly Adam swatch time, excuse me? I think you'll find that I can swatch. I just choose not to because it is annoying. See, this is coming out fine. Steph was just being way too aggressive. How come you can do it so easily? It requires like a gentle man touch. <laughs> oh, hi, Kayla. Thank you for coming along. Hello, no, okay. Kayla. How are you? I'm just swatching because Steph's having a hard time. Yeah, and we've got like over 40 colours to be swatching. Boy, here. don't I know it. <laughs> and apparently if we take 10 minutes per each pen, that's going to take a while. <laughs> that one? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, is that why I couldn't get it to work? Yeah, you got to channel how much you hate swatching into it. <laughs> and it speeds up the entire process. See, already, I was trying to start off with like all the blue colours. Adam's just picking any colour willy nilly. Oh. I'm colourblind. <laughs> Alright. To me, this looks great. You know the difference between yellows and blues. Swatching's fun. Do you guys enjoy this? I have to admit, going back to the paper, it's, it is very smooth. The closest thing I can compare it to probably is Bristol board. Although, I have to admit as well, I don't know if you, the camera will pick it up even if we zoom in, but um, the Pasco ones went down very, very smooth, like Steph said. One thing I'm finding with the tip with these ones is uh, when you're pumping it, you're actually leaving tiny little uh, it craters. It looks like little pock marks. Yeah, where, where the pen's been. been yeah, yeah, it makes it sort of like stabs. So uh, if you do get these and you don't want to mark your paper, you're probably, you might be guess, like, uh, getting like a spare bit and doing it on there and then coming Although on there. I do think that these ones we have in the size 5, and I do believe that there's some that they make that are actually like thicker ones as well. Oh, it might be a bit kinder than with those, yeah. I think the idea is that they want you to buy like bulk sets so that you use the fine ones to uh, do like the outlines and then use the thicker ones to like colour in big spaces. That's right. Let me change, because gosh, it, it's blowing a lot of the colours out. Let me see if I can just change the uh, white balance or anything down. Oh, well, let me know if you need the help of uh, step what over about here. What about there? Can you see that all right? Let me kind of have a... I just don't want to make myself look grey. I don't care if you're grey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me... So you got your that. saturation and all that stuff there, see? So oh, okay, yeah, that works. Just bear in mind it's dark because your head's eclipsing the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Will we... I'll, I'll pump on, I'll do another bad boy, hold on. Okay, good. You keep pumping. She is right though, you know, I do think it does, it has separated. Because can you see how dark it is there? Yeah, it goes all like marble. Because the, these are see-through, so it's really dark along that one, and then it's really light along here, so it looks like it has separated... Plus it's, oh my god, plus it's been there. Uh, <laughs> felt there's radiation coming out of it then. Oh, that was good. <clears throat> there. Should I apply? Yeah. That's it. Thank you, dear. At least the colours look a bit nicer now. There you go, see? And now, like, all that dark is sort of gone. It's mixed with, like, the, uh, the light and it's made this colour. It looks like they have separated just a little bit. It's looking a little bit better, isn't it? Before we know, Poscus might do that inside the barrel because we can't see. That's true. No, you are right. Yeah. Professional review. We do have some other paint markers uh, that we <laughs> want to show. Do we? No, not during this, because <laughs> I thought that'd be overkill if we showed like too many at once. But I was thinking um, in the future, it might be nice to do sort of like cheap versus expensive. Oh, that would be cool. Would you guys want to see that? We have been sent, oh my gosh, what's the name of the brand? Molotov. Molotov. Oh, oh Molotov really meant to be quite fancy. Yeah, I've yeah. never used them before, so I thought that that would be nice to do like a comparison where we do like a 50 50. Yeah, we can do that, sure. Now, again, this one's kind of marbled again, isn't it? Like, oh, you can see it quite clearly there, like the two different colours. Oh, that's so. such a bright orange. <laughs> the ball's not making any noise. Yeah, I had one that did that. The sort of stick. 
Oh, it's coming. It's coming. See, I did all the hard work of loosening them up for you when I was You shook them. like two of them. What are you about? <laughs> yeah, it's like the bowl's got stuck in it, kind of, and you have to give it like a good old shake to uh, wake it up. Well, other pet markers that we've been sent to review at some point. We've got yeah, Derwent we go. pet markers. I don't really know much about the Derwent one, so that'll be an interesting one to look at. Mm -hmm. And my friend from my birthday got me some... I think it's Uhuhu pet markers. Yes, yeah, and yeah. We're big advocates for um, Uhuhu markers, so it'll be interesting to see if the pet markers live up to the same height. <laughs> Move out my way, he says. <laughs> I can do this, he says. I can do it. I can do it. I can do this. Come on, Adam, you can do this. And the good news is, is that if I ever need to pray to God for this to go faster, and we live next door to a church now, so I don't have to go very far. <laughs> Steph loosened them by looking at them, I sure did. Well, she loosens me up too. Well, that's quite a creamy looking orange, isn't it? I do like that one. That's like a nice goldfish orange. <laughs> Reminds me of like a goldfish, I like that one. I'm glad that one of them out of the pack of 42 as you were yeah. You'll have to draw a goldfish with it. Oh god, what colour is that? That's... Should we tell him? <laughs> Do we give it is a secret? Is he green? He looks like... I thought Marvel was that bad for you. We're gonna have to give this a good shape. Alright, let's give it a go. Yeah, you're right, it's green. I hate the sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bowl is definitely doing its thing, though. I mean, look, it, it's mixing really well once you do give them a good old shake, so. Yeah, I think because of the nature of the acrylic paint and because it's just been, like, sat around for a while, the bowl's got kind of, like, stuck into, like, the paint, but then once you start shaking it around, it loosens sure. it up. Oh honey, Kayla Bolt says, do you only have Kofi or do you have a Patreon as well? We do have a Patreon. So we've had the Patreon a really long time and that's one of like the main ways that people support us and we get our income. That's back. how we stay alive because so, God knows YouTube don't Oh give my it. gosh, YouTube has <laughs> not treated us so kindly over the past few years. So anyone who wants to help out over on the Patreon, we'd love to see you over there. And we do also have a coffee now if um whichever's easiest yeah. subscriptions. Whatever's easiest for you, you know. We have like unique like prompts and streams that we do on Patreon. It's the most active like social media thing we're on the Patreon one, so if you want to talk to yeah, us, we've that's got, the like, best. A little Discord room set up for Patreon. <laughs> Finally, something to channel all of my artistic rage into. Oh, that's Serena with the patron crew represent. Yes, thank you. Yes, Serena's been a patron for a very long time now. We really appreciate it. Lots of people that come to these streams, both on Twitch and YouTube, are a Patreon like uh, long time pledges, and we really appreciate that. It's very, very sweet of you. That one looks kind of yummy. The way it's that like, looks yummy. <laughs> yeah, but it, look, it looks like a nice like apricot like cream. Like, mm. That's definitely the most uh, the most the most delicious looking one so far. Oh, and there's Emerson, also one of our patrons. And a cucumber. Samar and Silver saying yes. The Patreon Discord is the best place on the internet. <laughs> Ooh, that's gone really nice and creamy looking. You're gonna have to join? Oh, please do! Not only does it support us in doing streams and videos and stuff, but we get to uh, have a much more like personal like one-on-one -on -one thing with you guys, which is really sweet. Yeah, it's nice, like if you draw a picture and you want me and Adam to look at it, or... We're, gonna, we're definitely gonna see it. Yeah, there. we'll definitely see that. Or if you just want to send us a photo of your pet, that oh, happens a lot so in that. Cool. Yeah, you guys share your We've pets. We've got a lot so of much. regular cats in the Patreon room. So many cats! You guys have taught me so much about cats. 
Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Yeah, that one's a nice one as well. She's trying to be like orange. <laughs> I'm trying to see what colour it is. That's peach. Yeah, it's quite a peachy colour. Would you still say that one's delicious? Yeah, I like peaches. Okay. Who, who on the internet doesn't like peaches? I've never seen you eat a peach. Well, I've eaten, uh, you know those peach sweets? The like, uh, oh, gummies? Oh, yeah, the sugary ones. And they have sugar on? Yeah. Mm. That's the kind of peach. Well, I also. It's a different vibe to an actual peach. Baldy peach is good too. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna oh. drive. Thank you so much as well, guys. No, we really appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Thank you for the support. E even thank you for the support, you guys. I've just been here watching me go through Swatch Hell right now. You really <laughs> Swatch it. Hell. Yeah. <laughs> just having people here to cheer me on. Oh, that's a black. That's a nice one. Doing nice old pink. I like that. <clears throat> Makes me happy. Or is this black? <laughs> oh no. I must experiment, hold on. I love colour reviews with the colourblind artist. <laughs> Look how it's playing like emotional piano music when I realise I don't know what colours are. Or is that black? <laughs> I have the colours just black. They look the same! What need come up with the class all over? It's the same! You were eclipsing it again. It's the same! Same! You've got your hand in the way. <laughs> You've got your hand in the way. <laughs> I think one might be like a really dark grey. Oh, that's a lot of blue. They've sent us two blacks. It's the two blacks. Oh yeah, there's black and extra black. There you go. I forgot the two. <laughs> Gaslight in me. Oh, <laughs> I think I think it's really grey. You just can't see it. No, I couldn't tell the difference either. Gaslit on our own stream. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, could I? Since when is black and extra black? What's the difference? Girl boss gaslight. <laughs> oh, this looks like it might be like a fluorescent Ooh, yellow. Yeah, that is like a really fluorescent yellow. That's really bright. I don't deserve it. <laughs> How mean. I'm going to put it next to the ultra black. Oh, you'll be able to do uh, a bumblebee. Yeah, because God, I still need inspiration as to what I actually draw, because I still don't know. Come on, release your secrets to me. <laughs> it feels like a warm black and a cold black. In brackets, coping. Oh, whoa! Look at that, that's amazing. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice one. Look, look at that. Look at that. It like glows. Look at that. Oh. Maybe try pumping all the pens. What, take all the caps off them? The secret information in here. What was that? A swatch card? We I love to see that. you. Oh, it's Winnie the Pope! And no, no stones. No, it's not a swatch sheet. Is that a rock no. painting head? <laughs> I think it might be. Hmm. That's one we haven't tried. Design a plushie? I want to. You know, you know, in the uh, the video we did in the bathroom. Oh yeah, this is um, a really good chance to talk to a bunch of people. We talked about, it, I think, in uh, Twitch streams. <laughs> so we're interested in making a plushie, and we're on the fence about whether we should draw and create like a new character design, use like an existing character design, or go for something that's like. Um, 
very recognisable as like a doodle dirt thing, such as like Monty or like a Port Jackson that could be very cursed. What about got... you, Manu Bestie? Yeah, we could do the Rainbow Capybara, although that video's got sort of like record low views right now, so it might not be the best what one. What the heck? Why? I know, I love that video. I literally spent like, um, like 60 hours editing it. <laughs> a Monty would be cool. Yeah, I think Monty would be a popular one. Oh, we've got a few Pot Jacksons. Oh, we've got old PJ. Oh, we do have a vote for Hugh. Thank you. <laughs> Something simple, I think, makes sense, like the heart. Yeah, we've got Doodle and Derek, the heart. This one looks really yummy as well. This one looks like raspberry ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, Atomic Cat Plushies. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be really cool. I wonder if they'd let you do like all three though. No, no <laughs> way. Do you think of some of the people that like have done makeshift ones, for example, that have only got one, like huge people. And here come us that have been lo <laughs> losing subscribers for three years. <laughs> like, we're just like, hey guys, um, can we have three please? A girl can have dreams. <laughs> he has signed the, sign the email with that. <laughs> love Steph, a girl can have dreams. We definitely love plushies of any and all of the Doodle Bit classic characters. Ooh. You guys are top notch comfort YouTubers. Oh, thank you, Paige. That is very sweet. I mean, and that's not to say that we're not grateful for what we have, because we are really grateful for what we have. But seeing it decrease for three years, it's like twitchy, twitchy bum time. Uh, twitchy bum time. <laughs> when you're nervous. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a bit more anxiety with posting things on YouTube since everything we do, it feels like... No one, nobody wrong. likes it! <laughs> 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 Yeah, some of our new videos took off, like when we had all the drama going on with um, the eviction. That brought in like quite a few. So videos. people just wanted to see me suffer. <laughs> Is that it? But I'm suffering, suffering right now. This does not get a hundred thousand <laughs> views because I'm swatching. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't think it works quite like that. I mean, we could try getting evicted again, but I don't recommend. Try it. getting evicted again. <laughs> I paint my walls and then get a victim. <laughs> Ruining the new carpet. <laughs> oh, you're eating ice cream, Daniela? That's cool. I recognize Daniela's icon. They were asking if they were bad enough to listen to the music I made. You're definitely bad enough. Inspired from so much opportunity. Oh, oh that's, that's very nice sweet. Thank you. Jesus Christ, it looks like I got right Robin Williams arms on this webcam. Look at that. It's like my skin's a different shade on this web. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, Jasper's listened to your whole album. Oh, did you like it? Thank you. Yeah, if you didn't know, we've both got SoundClouds and Adam's been very <laughs> active on his. It's fun making stuff. Like if Steph ever needs to lay down or whatever. You oh. tend to just make like a little song. <clears throat> I'll make a little tune. Do any of you guys make music or anything? Oh. The background sound to my life. Oh, oh. well, that's a compliment, thank you. I should, I should send that to the guy. But, uh, when, Who did I say? No, no, we should, there was always a guy. He, he, he gave up eventually because we never replied. But there was a guy that used to comment in all of our videos saying, She sounds so nice, but he's so annoying. <laughs> really? <laughs> I know. 
Um, my, you're usually the one who deals with a lot of the content. I'm the comment boy. Yeah, yeah I, I like to go through them and vet them first, because Steph gets a bit anxious in case there's anything mean in there. I just think it's funny. <laughs> To be fair though, that was more so like when we were a lot, lot bigger. Oh, and thank you, Christine. That's very, very sweet. Thank you. I will be definitely checking out that a little bit. Oh, later. thank you. Oh, I have got the. Oh, 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 oh. I to God, I'm gonna have such a buff arm by the end of this. Oh, did you post it actually on our Patreon? Are you logged in on? I love falling asleep. Q voices off. Some people do that on stream, and I think that's really nice. As someone who's always been a bit self-conscious about their voice and stuff, oh, very sweet. But yeah, we're definitely most active over on the Discord, which is where we've got like our little secret room. It's like a secret clubhouse. Oh, that's a nice one as well. You self-conscious, your your device is tight. <laughs> <You're both here. laughs> Should I just talk in Yoda voice for all of the video? <laughs> <laughs> Swatches, spark from the dark side. <laughs> oh. Big fan of all the animal voices, especially Mr. Bar. You just like it because he groans. <laughs> No one likes the Winnie the Pooh one because Steph says I make him say mean things. <laughs> That's his name, you can't be cross at that. Oh, oh. Is that a white one? No, well, I've already swatched a white one, so this might be like... It might be extra white. And that's what it says, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is me. <laughs> The farmer one? Oh, we haven't done anything really farm related in a while, have we? And these swatches aren't very aesthetic. I've been spraying them into the other ones. Oh, gosh. Is that <laughs> right? Don't laugh for me. <laughs> the carrot turtle farmer. <laughs> I think that one was in the smallest watercolours. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Gosh, that is going back, isn't it? <laughs> Just stabbing at it, taking out my, my frustrations on it. <clears throat> oh, there's something else in here. Come to me. Have you found any of the metallic ones yet? I found a sticker. Oh, I like stickers. It's a raccoon. Oh, I like raccoons. Can you pass okay. me my drink, please? I'm working, I'm literally sweating. Thank you. It's got lots of pipes <clears throat> in that too. Yeah. That's what I drink. Oh god, that looks like void juice. <laughs> I drink from the void, that's what keeps me going. Doodlejet is my daily English listening practice. Oh, that's so sweet. God, when you learn all the English, you'll be sound like Steph. You'll be like, bye. <laughs> <coughs> Today we're going to be using some markers. Right? Oh, these are well now. Nah. Oh, hello, punk. You're at lunch. What's for dinner? Uh -oh. <laughs> Did you drop it? I got a bit overzealous with it and I dropped it. Oh. Now it's under your chair. It's literally under my air. Come here. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. I hate this one. Can you tell? I might eat your cake while you're gonna eat your cake while I do this. Are you trying to punish me anymore? Would you like to show them the cake? No, I don't. You should show them. No. It's a little Easter cake. Because it's almost Easter. Look at that. A little white chocolate cake. With a little leg on top. Adorable. You're gonna sit there and eat that while I do this. Guinea pigs are angry. They're angry. Now everyone wants cake. What do you <laughs> Such a cute cake. Aww. Pumpkin soup. Ooh. Ooh, pumpkin soup sounds really good. I love soup when it's like really cold <clears> weather. <throat> Because it warms you up. I hate soap. I thought you liked <laughs> carrot and coriander soup. I hate everything right now. <laughs> <laughs> you like carrot and coriander soup. You got some before and you were like, oh, this is delicious. <laughs> Are we going to do something fun over Easter? I want to get Steph like a nice egg. Yeah, because I missed the <clears> chance <throat> to get the egg that I wanted again for like the third year in a row. <laughs> I want to get her some kind of a nice egg. Something sweet, because you guys know that Steph loves sweet things, so I want to try and get her something nice. He says my mouth's full of sweet things. Nom, 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 nom. I still don't know how you guys enjoy this. I'd rather be drawing <laughs> something than... It's because she's so sweet, Jaden. Yes! What we do a video paint painting eggs? What like real eggs? Yeah, we've never done that before. I'm scared I'd like break it. I'm too heavy handed. I'm gonna enjoy a nice cake and my pig won't let me. <laughs> or a stream. Maybe. There we go. Never in time anymore. You hard boil them? Oh. <laughs> I'd just be painting on like a raw egg. <laughs> I wonder what you were on about. Okay, I'm coming fast again. Oh. Do you want to swatch the rest of it? I'm losing the will to live. How many are left? I don't know, like three. Okay. Um, do you keep going for a second while I just finish my cake? Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Bob Ross, dude. Oh, that sounds awesome! Do, 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 do. A Bob Ross one, like a landscape on it. That'd be, it'd be cool if you could like wrap it around like the whole thing as well. That'd be really cool. I'll give I'll give them some hay as well when we can sit here. Or like a veggie or something. They're getting a bit sassy because they want a snack. They get fed so many snacks. They're gonna get so big and fat. My fat babies. Dad, do you want me to come in? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to carry on? I have pigs to Ooh, see. Oh, I love that colour that you just watched. That's really pretty. Is it brown? No. It's like an aqua. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. That's the one. That's the one I meant. There you go. You sit down and I'll tend to these babies. Well, oh, yeah, you really have splattered the colours everywhere. <laughs> you said that there was only like four left. Look how many slept in here. <laughs> what I meant to say is that it was a multiple of four. <laughs> <laughs> He's very naughty. I'm a good boy, what are you talking about? Big 
much. How long would you say it takes then to get the paint uh, out the... How long? Oh, I've got some. Too bloody long. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna sit where Steph was. <gasps> That's such a nice <clears throat> colour. Something that I'll credit the set for, and I'll give you like a, a closer look of it once uh, they're all swatched, is the pastels in this set. They're definitely a lot more pastel than what some of the pastel Posca pens yes, have been. Yes, I agree, yeah. And the glitter ones that we've swatched, which are the official Posca ones, these ones I'd say they've got like a much darker like jewel tone to them than what I was expecting. I would say compared to the others, the Posca ones look a bit muddy. Yeah. I mean, and not, I don't mean that in like a mean way, it's just darker. Well, it might be to do with the formula because it's got like the glitter stuff in it. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because it's not like their ordinary Poscas. Yeah, Punk, we can't label them because it tells you the colours on the box, but there's no way to correlate it to the pen. And because there's black and extra black, I don't know how I'm ever gonna be able to differentiate those. And white and extra white. This is my this is my burden that I have to carry. He just asked if this is brown. So. <laughs> Okay. You need good characterization. That's exactly the same with Steph. I don't know how she's going to cope with them because uh, she likes everything labelled and organised and everything has its place. Well, I could uh, write some labels and stick them on. Oh, I wouldn't point you through that. I enjoy doing things like that. It would, if you want to, but God, to me that sounds like ripping nails. You know, my idea of a fun time and your idea of a fun time are two very different <laughs> things. <laughs> I'm, 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 you know what I'm beginning to think? Like, you guys and Steph have a lot in common in, in terms of, like, labeling things and organization. I'll, when I put something away, that's where it belongs. Oh my gosh, you should see the stuff that he puts away. I have to write labels to go on all the cupboards, otherwise we'll just literally put anything in any cupboard. Like earlier on, what? I saw that in the uh, frying pan cupboard, you know like one of those We have ones... a frying pan! Oh my gosh! Which, which one? There's that? all kinds of random bits of like crockery and stuff. It's the same thing you put food in. <laughs> it's the same no, thing. Everyone knows that the bottom one goes for frying pans. And... have a frying pan cupboard. Everyone does. It's where you put like your trays and your pans and, and your crockery and stuff like that. <laughs> crockery and egg cups, because why not? <laughs> if, if food can sit in it, it all belongs in the same. It doesn't. We have to have a system. And then he's got like random cups in the bottom one, when we've got like cupboards for cups. And then pans won't fit in the top cupboards. Okay, well, I'll make it fit. <laughs> See, everyone else has got a pan cupboard. Oh, everyone else is pandering to you. They know how. <laughs> they know how it is. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I'm wrong. I just keep seeing more comments being like, "That's awful. How could it?" There was a time when we first moved in, and I opened one of the drawers. You know, like the top ones usually for cutlery. Oh, oh. I opened that up, and then there was tons of like pottery things that were just uh, sort of like thrown in and they almost fell out of the I'd drawer set, when set I opened my it. own pottery body <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> and I was like, why would you just put a bunch of like pottery that could literally break and smash and fall out? It just looked good at that. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Look, nothing has a system. So anyway, I'm gradually trying to go through all the boxes. Cups next mm. to the kettle, that's a good idea. Yeah. See, things like that, like... I don't- I can't take credit for that, Raven said it. You think of, like, where things, uh... Where things go, like, where you use them most, and then come up with, like, a little system for... Oh, to keep much. them in one place. That's too much effort. I just eat it out of the pan. <laughs> that way there's less washing up. 
But then you'll have a hard time finding the pan because it's not in the pan cupboard. I'll leave it out. <laughs> you can't leave everything out. <laughs> I'll carry it with me. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere I go. <laughs> I still haven't found out who it was that sent us the uh, washi tape organization drawers because that is so Oh cool. god, you love that thing. Yeah, yeah I do. It's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. Steph was so anxious that because it's made of plastic, she was worried it was going to break. So we like. Like in the move? We so like we... bubble wrapped it into a ball and it survived. <laughs> but no, it's beautiful. It's a really nice thing. Yeah, this is quite sand colour. You could do paint in sand shrew with me sand paint. It is quite a sand shrew colour. Hello, Edgepan, how are you doing? See, thank you. Dinky Binky says, I'm also disorganized. There are literally two of them. <laughs> I feel like I'm messy, but I'm messy and disorganized, so I know where everything's supposed to go. Yeah, but guys. And I'm good at coming up with systems. <laughs> Steph's got a man that hoovers every yeah. single day. Adam's tidy, but he's disorganised. Yes. So his way of tidying is just like, like, he'll just grab like a bunch of things and then shove it in a cupboard somewhere and then he'll go and grab a few of these and put them somewhere else. And then I'll get And then everything's out. in like five different places and then one day I'll be like, oh, I need that. And then I'm like, oh no, I don't know where it is because Adam was last. Should we like, didn't I? Where did you put that? I'll be like, oh no, don't worry about that. Here, look, I'm hoovering. Look, this is unhealthy. <laughs> Adam's classic phrases. It could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it could be anywhere. <laughs> is the way you is that not how you say your name, Dinky Binky? <laughs> is that wrong? Sorry. I would have said Dimike, Dimike Binke. Dinky Binky, <laughs> Dinky Binky. <laughs> Yeah, well, you can't put up shelves, I can. It's true. I have to be good at things that Steph's not good at. He reel her back in. <laughs> <laughs> do you try to scare me away with uh, the things that you can't yeah, my, do? Yeah, my downfalls scare you away, but like the pros vastly outweigh the <laughs> yeah, cons. Yeah, vastly. <laughs> like... <laughs> you know, you got like a you got like a puddle of cons, but a vast ocean of pros. <laughs> Feels like there's so many peach colours in this set. There's too many. Where's me brown? Yeah. Oh, it does look like there's some browns in here. I love brown. But yeah, we definitely need some like earthy colours in this set. right there. It just takes such a a moment of stabbing the paper until um, I think it's like what you said though, they were they've got to be shook up and I think they've, it's all the mixtures kind of got a bit like stiff and like uh, thicker because it's not mixed so it takes a little bit longer but once you give them a good shake they do come out Okay, this one's a brown Brown! Oh, Steph got it super close. I got it close as you did. <laughs> what, 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 what? Sorry, I was having a drink. What did you get? The person that you called Dinky Binky. Dinky Binky. <laughs> Apparently that's not how you say it. I mean, that's an awesome name. <laughs> Melanie, how are you doing? Ah, Melanie! Danike Vinke. So I'm half right. That's nothing like Dinky Vinky. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. 
Hello, Loon. How are you doing? Okay, I think we actually are down to the last four to swap. See, I was right. So you were right. There was like 12. That's like four times three. You do have a cucumber slice. I feel like I should make something um, a bit more doodle date related for that, but Adam just got so excited that I pixeled a cucumber once upon a time. He's like, we can use that as the members' badge. Yeah, well, they know that we like guinea pigs and guinea pigs are in there. Oh my god, I got this right beast of a cucumber for the guinea pigs today. It's like the size of my forearm. It's like a, it's like a beast. I was so excited. I'm going to feed them some of that later. There's definitely some quirky colours in this set that I know that we don't have in like Poskas and that I think Posca don't make in general. Okay, now we're down to the last four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you gonna draw? I'm not at that stage yet. I've already got like a hundred ideas. Good for you. <laughs> that yellow is so pretty. Can you see how much that... I did do a good job with the swatch, didn't I? Mm-hmm. The yellow one. Just that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know swatches aren't my uh, are my best thing. <laughs> this one's interesting because it looks like it's gonna be like a grey colour. Yeah. But inside this, I don't know if you can see, it's got kind of like a pinkishy purple hue, so oh, what's that gonna be? Yeah, Did they say there was a gold and silver in here? I ain't going across it. Yeah, they're over here. Oh, okay. I'm saving them for last. Okay, this one is a pretty bog standard grey colour. This just says warm grey? Um, I'm not sure. Do this, you need my pro colour expertise to determine what that is? It might just be grey grey. So these are the three remaining ones. I'm oh, guessing. Oh. I'm guessing that these two are the metallics, and that this one's going to be another grey. So I'll get the grey out the way away. Akagomi says, "Can I share a picture of my dog if my husband's in it?" That's entirely up to you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we know. The, the way we treat it, you know, is like as long as you guys are cool with it, and you know, it follows all the rules, you know, that stuff. But, but that's fine by us, as long as you're okay with it. Then yeah, go for it. I am excited about the idea of having grey paint markers because I don't think I've ever. Wait, not very many. No, you are right. I... And I like working in uh, grey together. Do you think that? Do you think that I, I need you to look at me? Mm. Do I have slim ankles? The lovely, <laughs> slimmest ankles I have ever seen. God, it's like a swan. <laughs> look at me. Yeah. Oh, this should be. Oh, I'm excited for these ones. Bless your little wrists. You know, we were talking about how we've got some Molotov markers. Yes. Well, um, one of the ones we've been sent is called like Liquid Mirror, and oh. it's meant to be like super reflective. reflective. Ooh, yeah, it's about Liquid the Mirror. Mirror. That sounds awesome. To play with. We could do designing mirrors with a Liquid Mirror. <gasps> That's a great time. We could do like a really ornate mirror or something, and then see if it works by looking at our faces. Oh, the ink's coming out faster on this one. There we go. Okay, it's a, that's a gold, yeah. I'm yeah, and I can definitely see that there's like a metallic shimmeriness. That ain't too bad at all. Okay. Well, I might have a go at quickly sketching up some things. Just to. You're gonna like have text. a go next to the swatches, are you? Yeah, yeah, because okay. like those are still quite wet. Have so. you got enough like pencils and erasers? Yeah, I brought stuff? everything over okay, that I thought so I was going to need. Feel bad for you making the swatch notes. So, like, if you need anything, I'll, I'll <laughs> run around and get it for you. Okay, so you'll probably struggle to see what it is that I'm sketching. With. Oh, it's always light in the beginning, but you guys will see it. Don't worry. What would you guys? Now you've seen them all. What would you guys draw with it? Because there is quite a few. Can you mix paint pens, or is that 
Yeah, you can mix you them. You can mix them, because I've never really tried that before. I'm just trying a very rough something or other, so we've got something to work with. That's fine. Oh, that looks cute. I'm not sure. Oh, the people are saying that they can see what it is. <laughs> you guys can tell already. <laughs> yeah, it says mute. Yeah, like a muted palette. Uh, at you. Yeah, so like. Maybe like a rainforest, but it's like overcast and raining. That that'd be kind of cool. Oh yeah, the guy that's really popping. Now you're putting the yeah. uh, markers on it. Yeah, that looks really good. It'd be interesting to see how smooth it goes down with those ones as well, because they're uh, Cause this quite is, scratchy. Um, special paper as well. Sent by Raven. Oh, an underwater one? Uh, Alexander, call you Dinky Winky again. <laughs> but yes, an under. Yeah. I'm just gonna call you DV. <laughs> DV? No, that sounds like something bad. You can't say that. Does it? Yeah. What does that stand for? Domestic violence. Oh, God! <laughs> Dinky, I'm not doing good with your name. <laughs> oh, a butterfly, Jaden. That sounds good. Hello, Stephanie Whittington. How are you? Oh, another Stephanie. Why does it have to stand for that? Why can't we, like, claim it back and... Claim it back. And, like, <laughs> call it, like, delicate vegetables? <laughs> well, you do whatever campaign you're doing over there. And it's, I will continue. It's time, it's time to put an end to this and... Rebrand. Oh, Susan, a jewel to Jamie Lamb. That's pretty cool. Ooh. The steps, they're multiplying. We are. We got steps, they're multiplying. You wanna know something cool that, that I saw today, guys? I saw a brown I saw that brown cat again. And he was in like the alleyway near where our door is. Oh, I keep hearing a cat outside. Yeah, it's him, it's brown cat. And uh that means he must live nearby, so I'm gonna try and find him and take a picture of him. He's a bit shy. Like we scared the, we scared the poo out of each other because we bumped into each other on a corner again. But I like him. I, I forget what kind of cat is a brown cat, but it is. He's a brown cat. <laughs> That's his name, brown cat. He's, he's got green eyes and like a brown nose. It's a tabby cat? No, it's brown. Brown. Oh, Nikki Israel says, the mushroom needs a little frog under it. Frog emoji. Oh, doing a frog emoji, aren't you? You are really good at drawing frogs. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some really nice greens in that as well. See, if I'd swatched, like, um, all these with, like, color names, but they don't have color names, so I didn't know which one I was picking. I was trying to go for this color over here. Let me see if I put my hand there. It's more of like a peachy, yeah, yeah, blue color, mm -hmm. and I've accidentally ended up picking this one because they're not named. Yeah, you so... know, even Steph, who has perfect color vision, I've got no chance. <laughs> you have two calico cats. Those are cute as well. Those are like the tricolor ones, aren't they? Because yeah. Creston's kind of like a calico and, and Pat. And yeah, the both are because they got three colors too. Calico kitties. And they've been doing really well too. I feel like um, I should update you guys. I've been telling people on Twitch, obviously, because we stream a bit more often on there, but uh, the pigs are settling in really well. They literally sit behind us in this place, so they're still with us all day. 
and uh, they've been doing really well. Creston's, uh, it's so strange, because Creston lived in the old place for like the best part of two years before we moved here. And ever since he's moved into this place, he's uh, like really came out of his shell. He's so much more confident these days. I mean, he still doesn't like being fussed unless you're giving him a snack. But um, he's so much more brave in this place. And I don't know, maybe it's just a different vibe that he likes, but uh, he really, really likes it here. And Patches is just chill. And Patches is chill anywhere. As long as there's food and we're around, like, Patches is fine anywhere. No, I've just noticed now that um, these have all dried. Yeah. Those ones that were looking quite brown at the top, they've turned, like, grey now. I wouldn't say any of them are oh, brown Oh, yeah, the, the top ones. Yeah, Ooh, like these That's two. weird. Yeah. Because the bet... clear bit, if you see... I was like, going to say, can you even find it? <laughs> it was one of, like... <laughs> Oh, hello, Rabbit. It's nice to see you. That is weird there, but it's like they've changed. Do you remember those, like, cr those uh, magic Crayola pens where you put down a colour and then use the magic transparent one to change it? It's oh, like, the it's magic like colour changing pen. Did any of you guys have those, like, magic changing markers? I had a set of those as a kid, and I used it that much. That the one that changed the colour became a colour because I'd mixed it <laughs> in. Hello, Creston. Have you come to see your mama? Hello, baby. You're looking like a cute little guinea pig. Hey, stop chewing. No, <laughs> that's not cute. Stop chewing that. <laughs> Must feed me to fuzzle. Creston's definitely like that. He's like, he knows how cute he is, so he knows that he can get what he wants. So. If if you give him a snack, you may fuss him for a little bit until he gets fed up and then he'll run away. Yeah, he's come over because we keep saying his name. Hello, babe. How are you doing? I'm bumping into that issue again with uh, the plastic being like quite scratchy towards the nib, but some of them are like worse culprits for it than the Oh, really? Yeah, but I mean, they are like the fine tip ones, so you might find that if we'd got the thicker ones, it would be like less of an issue. Well, again, we have to say how grateful we are because all the stuff that we were using was gifted to us, so you know. I, yeah, back when we had I can't our, complain. Uh, Amazon wish list, which we don't currently have. No. Yeah, in case you're curious, we don't have an Amazon wish list anymore because we live in a rough area. And uh, when we moved in, someone like rubbed our recycle bin <laughs> and I had to get a new one. Yeah, we've been struggling with getting things like stolen in this area, so we're hesitant to have something like a wish list. Hoodlums in my neighborhood. Hoodlums. That's another reason why I don't like letting Steph out without me. I had a drunk guy who tried to cuddle me. A drunk man tried to grab Steph. <laughs> I was getting ready to cave his face in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, make his face look like a spoon. <laughs> no one the all oh, makes me mad. Remember guys, no one has the right to touch you. That is your own space. Oh, that's looking really cute, dear. Yeah. You've gone for like a really pastel-y light colour. I really like it. Every, it looks like um, a really aesthetic light design you'd see on a sticker or on like a thermos. Like on a red bubble, for example. Oh yeah, we've got some really good designs up on the red bubble if you want to check that out. And I've got my egg one, which was my yes. most recent design. I like the egg one. I think someone got that on a t-shirt recently. They did, yeah. Yeah, and if you look as well, we've also got the egg one on blue and pink. So if you wanted to do like a his and hers or... His and hers eggs? That's adorable. You could get it to like celebrate your pregnancy or something. <laughs> That has to do with eggs, right? Like, you, oh, God. you could do like gender reveal. Is it the pink egg or is it the blue egg? We did, Melanie. That's true. Yeah. 
I don't like, like I say, I don't like Steph going out by herself. I'm a big burly man, so I can handle myself. Everyone leaves you alone. Everyone, like, crosses, people cross the street when they see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not out of fear, though. They're just like, oh, God. <laughs> like, I'm running across the street when it's just me. Yeah, when it's just you, yeah, they're like, oh, wow, what a gorgeous woman. I didn't <laughs> say hi. When it's me, it's like, oh, God, who let Shrek out? <laughs> oh, we are not Shrek. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> I do feel like with these, you might need like two coughs. I was thinking that when I was swatching them, yeah. They go down nice, but it's quite a thin sort of layer when you go down on it. Mm -hmm. But it, I think what you've said is probably true. Like, they're encouraging you to get both sets and to line with these ones. Yeah, more line so. with these and then colour with the others. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you soon, Amelia. Take it easy. Hello, love bugs. How are you? Oh, thank you, Pigami. We will check out Punch. That's very sweet of you. Oh, that's looking so pretty. I'll leave this one aside so I know it's a colour that I've used. Yeah. It always blows my mind how you can just like bust out a cute design as if it's nothing. That's my art teacher like. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different colour to the original one that I put down. I'm actually keen on the colour that I just put down, so if this wants to well, yeah, play it goes over nicely, it. that would be great. It felt like it was playing along with me for a while there, and then it's just like, no. It kind of looks like a highlight colour now. Oh, Christine says, I ordered a pencil case with the swatch design from your Red Bull, and it's amazing quality. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to us, Christine. That's such a big help. Thank you. And Christina says, I'm here. <laughs> Oh, Nikki says, I also got that swatch design, but on a bag. Oh, We've got it on a awesome. blanket, haven't we? We do. It's in that. It's in your new locker that I built. Because mm -hmm. I've been putting all the red bubble stuff towards the top so we can find it. One of the new things we built for storage, guys, was um, a big yellow locker. It's like a school locker, but it's like fluorescent yellow. Yeah, we'll have to do like an updated like little house tour of what we've been doing. Oh, studio tour. Mm -hmm. Can the pigs be in? Of course. Hey, the They're our receptionists. Well, I'm the receptionist to these three. Because <laughs> none of these three do phone calls. <laughs> it's ironic because my job actually was a receptionist was when I was thing. in London. Yeah. Oh, you found your true calling, honey. It's making art on the internet. I definitely wasn't good at phone calls. Way too much anxiety for that. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, like, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate as well, like, um, we all have phones, but how many of us use them for phone calls? I do. I have to. <laughs> I remember when I was at university, there was a friend who used to try and phone me because she wanted to, like, catch up and talk about things. And I used to refuse to answer the phone even to my friend, they'd be like, just text me. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Asu says uh, phone calls make them nervous. It's valid, you know. It is, it's a valid thing. <clears throat> if anything, these days, phone calls are more of a less common thing anyway, so it's like, ooh, you know. Abigail says, only for important things are if my parents call me. That makes sense? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, good luck, Emma. Emma's having a job interview tomorrow. That's ooh. exciting. I hope you do well. Good luck with that. Not that you will need it. That's looking super scratchy where I've put down two different Oh, it'll be okay. But I'm going to let it dry off and try go off with another layer <clears throat> and see how that treats me. 
don't want to do anything on top of that until that's dry. So it's looking really cute so far. I really hope this is that lime green up there. Okay, You're nervous. Oh my man, that's that's normal though. It's good. It's a, it's kind of a good thing that you're nervous. It means that you're in the right mindset to take it seriously. You're just trying to just trying to relax, you know. Oh, <clears throat> I always say to people, if you're in an interview and they say, "Do you have any questions?" You say to them, "Oh yeah, what's your what's your company's mission statement?" And they, <laughs> and they never know. They're like, "Uh." <laughs> like now you feel stupid and nervous, don't you? <laughs> I used that one a few times. You have such a way with words. I hope so. I must have some form of a way with words because I managed to reel you in. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, I'll have to put a new battery in this for you as well. In my poly pocket. pocket. Can I show? Yeah. <laughs> this was a present that I got for Steph a while back now, but it needs uh, it needs a new battery. It's uh, one of those old poly pockets, but it's like a clock one, and the top bit opens up. The playset bit's in there. You might be able to see the pieces inside it, and you can spin like the top bit around, and they sort of dance and stuff. But yeah, it needs a new battery in it. That's a cute. <laughs> Do you like that? Steph loves like the old Polly Pocket. Yeah, which and is, with uh... the move, uh, we've been uncovering like a bunch of my collection because they've been. They're getting so hard to find though now, aren't they? But Steph, like, she used to play with these. Well, she still likes to have a little play with them now, but <laughs> she likes to. Uh, she likes to uh, look at and. Uh, enjoy like the old ones because the old ones are so much better like painted than the newer ones the new yeah, ones are quite sad. i like that they have such tiny little like mechanisms and things and i'm cute oh as says i remember my first one a flower shop one. Oh, that sounds cute as well i know there used to be a flower shop um bus that i always wanted oh that sounds cute yeah it's really cute We'll have to do like a Steph Soft video at some point. And your Polly Pockets, Jesus, yeah. you've got so many. I, I don't think we'd be able to show them all in like one video, but we might be able to at least sort of go through like one box in a video or something. We could use your new red table. Oh yes, my red table, yeah. I'm so proud of mine. Red table. But Steph, a red bedside table with wheels, so she can like, if she's in bed and she needs her medication or whatever, <laughs> she can pull it across because it doesn't weigh anything. Oh, Cedar says, uh, does the paper pill at all? Have you been getting any of those nest instructions? No, no um, pilling. The closest thing that I've had to it is more so like, because these are scratchy nibs, it sometimes like scratches through like the paint that's already there. Oh, and leaves so. like a little trail. Yeah, but yeah. I wouldn't say that the paper... It's, it's been really well behaved because both Steph and I have swatched these ones because there was quite a few. But when I was swatching them, I didn't notice any either. Like the thickness of it, it's definitely holding up to them. <coughs> Steady queen. You don't mind me. <laughs> queen. Queen. That's looking so cute. Oh, Adora says, I only have one Polly Pocket with a horse stable. Oh, a horse stable one! There used to be like a really big house one that used to have like a little stable on the side. How big did Polly Pockets go? D did they, because I always associate them as small little things, did they yeah. go like really big? One of the biggest ones that I remember the adverts for as a kid was there was this like pop-up townhouse one, but um... I never got hold of that one because I was only ever allowed the small ones. I was inside to, did it like, um, was it like telescopic? Did it yeah, like, it oh, that's so cool. cool. And there was also like these really big magnetic sets where you could like control the little magnet and the little character. Oh, that's so cool. That'd be like magic. 
Adora says, I was a big horse girl. We love Ooh. a horse girl in this house. <laughs> oh, Samar says, I have a fairy one that is aqua star shaped. Oh, I've got. Um, You've got a star shaped one. Yeah, I've got some of those fairy ones. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Well, for Samara, of... that's very on brand. Yeah. There was also some of the fairy ones that were shaped like a little lily pad. I got that for like a birthday when I was a kid, and I really loved that one. Like Steph would say, like a lot of the ones she would get is going to like car boot sales with yeah. her nana. But... Most of them are like broken secondhand and very sun coloured, distorted. But like these days, you know, because of the internet and everyone's so wise to everything being sold, you'd, I don't think you'd ever see one in a car boot these days. Oh, people do pick them up. You reckon? Yeah. I remember my, my biggest claim to fame for a car boot thing was, um, well, Steph knows. I'm not sure if necessarily all of you guys know. But I like to co collect, uh, the one thing I do like to collect is like the Elder Scrolls games, you know, like Skyrim and all that. Mm -hmm. And I found a game that they released for the Nokia N-Gage, do you remember that phone? And, uh, I already know about that because you talk yeah, about it. I found it at a car boot sale for £5 and that game sells for over 100 now. Ooh. Oh, I need to show them that plush that's next to there because that's one of my oh, most recent thrift shop finds. Look at this baby! So he's handmade and he was uh, in like a thrift shop. <laughs> I just really like him. He needs fixing up so I was thinking at some point I want to try and... Uh, Is his head? He blood? needs a new like nose job. Yeah, his body's like brown. It's really hard to see. He looks like he's been choked, but he's, he's very cute. No idea what animal he is, if he's like a dog or He looks like a wombo. He's a wombo. He does have wombo energy. <laughs> and the the people said that like no one wants him and it's like, oh, no. Like a two pound bear is like, no one wants him. They were like, unique friend needs a home. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Aren't we all just unique friends that need homes? <laughs> An anteater? Yeah, it could be. Oh yeah, we could draw him. We've got colours that suit Ooh. him. Oh, but I don't have the brown for him. That's the only... Do we... Oh yeah, because the browns went grey. Um... In the words of Steph, gosh dang it. We could cheat and get a copy, Mark. Oh, uh... Just give me a second. I can run into the pen, pen drawing. Oh, if you know where it is, that's fine. Yeah. Not fall over the light. That would be oh, don't trip over the light, dear. <laughs> Actually, we grab these ones from uh, Tara. Was there a brown in that one? I imagine so. I really enjoyed using those. Let me bring these over. Do you remember the video when we used these? In our rock painting video. Manga rock painting kit. Oh, I love that video too. Please watch our video. <laughs> Share them with your friends, share them with your enemies, just, just share them. <laughs> share them with someone. Oh yeah, there's got to be a brown in there, surely. Okay, moment of truth, is there a brown? Oh, that's one brown, but that's... Hey, that's all you need. That's all we need. Now let me see what this... Because he doesn't even have a name yet. And the people that we got him from that didn't name him, he's, he's just a nameless little friend. Who needs a, a nose job because his, his nose has fell apart. Yeah, it looks but, like they put sponge in his nose and like over time the sponge is like perish. I'm gonna I've got some very basic sewing skills so I'm determined we to. We can do it, yeah. His nose stuffings, like, that, that, this is going to make me sound really old, but you know like the sponge you used to get on cassette tapes? It's like that kind of sponge, and that like dissolves into nothing over time. I do not remember. <laughs> you remember the sponge on cassette tape? Mm -mm. It's the thing that kept the tape going along, so your uh, so your uh, cassette Walkman could play the music. <laughs> wow, there's a floral back for everyone. What do you mean? It can't be that long. You know Eminem, mm -hmm. the rapper dude. He listens to ripped CDs before shows. Even now, if it's good enough for him. See, Tara gets it. 
<laughs> See, Tara gets it, but Ray says, I can hear your grey hairs. <laughs> God damn it. Guys, please, this isn't old. This is wisdom. Oh, I do think I can try and read brushes on this kind of pair. Is it good? Yeah, it's very smooth. Oh, Java 8 tracks? Nice. I like 8 tracks. 8 tracks were always shaped like little chocolate bars. I always wanted to eat them. I did tell you they did make a new walk on him because it's Sony, it'll cost a fortune. I'd love the idea of one day making like a music tape. Because some people do it on like a band camp and stuff where they'll make like a single or a small album and then do a short run where it's on an actual cassette for people to buy. That, that'd be fun to do one day. Because then you can design like the album art for the cassette trays that they come in. I bet, I bet that's really fun. That'd be quite like a, an ambitious video idea, making our own music cassette and like designing the album art for it and the little track listing thing that goes on the back. Well, I wouldn't know how to do that. Might be the tech wizard boy. A big strong tech wizard that's good with a hammer. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm so good with hammers. He's always running around this house with his hammer recently. <laughs> Whoa! I'm erecting so much furniture. <laughs> Hello, Vixie, how are you? Adam's new fire mixtape. Well, the one that I uploaded the other day I said was a mixtape for evil people. It's got a lot of organs in it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, there's a few in there. It's not very Steph vibes. No, I know. What I need you to do for me one day is use that use the program that we use for uh, instruments and just play a few and pick instruments that you like and then I'll try and make you a tune. Okay, with we'll stuff. With instruments that you like. That yeah. don't sound evil. Yeah. Well, if you play one and it sounds evil, then I'd say not that one. But I don't think organs sound evil, they I just do. think they sound cool. Why do I love it? Organs are evil. I love making evil sounding music. <laughs> oh, that's looking really good. It looks like him. What's your name, everybody? Hi, Patches. Patches says hi, he's just woke up. How's it going, Patches? Whoa, big man. He's a big man, look at you. Big boy. Oh, that's really cute. I can imagine, like, the uh, teddy guy being in, like, um, a box, and this is, like, the box art for him. <laughs> Everyone saying hi, Patches. He's gonna communicate with you by having a drink. I heard him like lick it. Just getting into position. Oh, okay. That's a very gentle sip. There we go. He's having a sip. He's communicating. He's sending Morse code to you. For you around here, Pat just loves it to be hydrated. And reminding everyone else that it's important to stay hydrated. Yeah, make sure you drink, Gummy. Get some delicious, clear, thirst quenching water in you. Oh, 
I'm like, oh, that looks so exciting. And then when I draw with them, I'm like, oh no, I feel like I'm not doing as good of a job as everyone else does. When oh, you're doing, she's doing a good job, right? I think it looks really cute so far. Right, says Pat, it's take your inhaler. Guys, if you've got pills or inhalers to take, that's also good. Wolfie says you have Dr. Pepper. You know we only get like um, one type of Dr. Pepper here, but I found out in America you have all kinds of different ones. But we only get like the, I suppose, the original, you know, the plain one. That's the only one we get here. Here we go. Christina says, Steph, you're doing great. SU says, Steph, everything is fine. Oh, thank you. Sergio <laughs> says, you're doing a great job. I love reassurance in this house. It's because what you do is really cute. Like, gosh, you're a good artist, honey. Do you know that Steph's been a self-employed artist for nearly 10 years? How many people, how many people in the world can say that? Not many. I mean, quite a few of them these days. Is he wishing upon a star? I just wanted to try and draw something a bit bigger so that you can see it because I feel like I keep drawing things too small. He has like 80s bear vibes. Can he be called Funzo? I think he was from like the 80s or at least 90s. He's an 80s bear. He's a bear. I like the name Funzo. Funzo's cute. It's fun with Funzo. Comes with zero catchphrases and a broken nose. <laughs> it's just like, please take me home. <laughs> Damn. Silver says, I haven't even been an artist that long. Especially for making art since before some of you guys were even born. <laughs> Just been around the block a few times. I'm so all. jealous though, because like I'm because I got dark hair. It's quite easy to see like where my hair's going grey. Steph, right? She gets one grey eyebrow hair. That's it. No, it's like pure white. And she plucks it out, and I keep telling her two will grow in its place, but she still keeps plucking it out. Not a, there's not a white hair on her body. Oh, there probably is. It's just my hair's lighter than yours, so it's less noticeable. Oh, Dinky Binky says Funzo. I love his name. See? Okay, so Funzo's growing on people. Hey, someone, you're Mr. Funzo. That's his, that's his voice. I come to your house to play. But he's like quite anxious, so it's like, Funzo, let's go play on the trampoline. And he's like, no, 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 I might have fall down. I don't like that, I sit and watch. Funzo, what's wrong with your nose? Oh, I'm very, I broke it. I'm a very clumsy boy. What, in a trampoline in accident? Yeah. I got my head stuck in a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Funzo is Italian? <laughs> Maybe? I'm not going away from home. I don't have to make the, the, the spaghetti like my mama. Funzo's favourite food is spaghetti. I think she's having a good time, guys. I think these pens are a staff favourite. Oh, this is my friend. Oh, wait, I don't know his name yet. We're not on name terms. That's really cute looking. Melanie says, is the paper nice? Yeah, huh? it's nice paper. The paper's pretty much withstood everything that Steph's done so far, even colouring like quite yeah, big areas. I'm, 
I'm putting a few layers on things and it's holding up to it pretty well. Stephanie's doing an excellent job. I relate fun so spaghetti is the best. <laughs> oh, I have a friend who likes his spaghetti. Unzo, let's play Xbox One. I don't like the sound of that. It sounds dangerous. I go on Xbox Live chat and someone make fun of my nose. Oh, no, it's not. It's it's really insecure about that. They said, where's your nose, mommy's boy? And I get very sad. <laughs> where's your nose? <laughs> oh, it's okay, fun though. Yeah, fettuccine. Oh, that's really good. Fettuccine is real. Steph introduced me to fettuccine. It's really good. Steph actually, because Steph's got um, family who are Italian, uh, Steph introduced me into, into all kinds of Italian food. And God, they make such good food. It's so good. You've never even tried pesto before? Never. Yeah, not even pesto, for God's sake. We'll change that. Very quickly. <laughs> oh, it's cute. I'm getting distracted by your art very quickly. What's the what's that really hard cheese that you have to grate? That's really Parmesan. Good. Yeah, that's good too. Steph did some of that on pasta once. That's really yummy. It comes in like a triangle, doesn't it? And you have to like grate it because it's really hard. Parmigiano, that yeah, that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that, that goes together really well. I'll figure what I was saying is the is the page okay underneath? That's something we haven't. Oh checked. yeah, let's have a look. Oh that's wow. Okay. Yep, that's uh. Jeez. Whoa, look at that. So you can use it double sided. That's very impressive. Because you see how hard I was pumping those pens on that paper. <laughs> that's very impressive. Oh my god, Hirundo homemade pesto, it, that's so true. Because um, Steph and I made pesto from scratch and it was really, really good. It had like pine nuts and stuff in it. I had to like grind it in this like medieval bowl thing. It was like <laughs> it was really... pestle and mortar. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. It, it's like something that like monks used in like the 15th century. It was really cool. No, is it gnocchi? Not gnocchi? No, yes. I love gnocchi. Steph taught me that it's cooked when it floats. <laughs> Apparently I've just taught you everything. <laughs> you had seriously? My, God, my life was so boring. Oh. Until Steph came along. <laughs> and then obviously you guys came along too, and then it got even better. And guinea pigs came along. And guinea along. pigs came along as well. Yucky's easy to make. Can't you like put stuff in it as well? Can you like put cheese in it? Yeah, stuff? we've had the filled oh. ones before. Also, a thank you for five dollars and fifty cents. Oh, thank you so much. Hey guys, I've been a fan since middle school in Saudi Arabia, and today is my twenty-first birthday. I just want to thank you for being a comfort for a life. Oh, well, happy birthday! Oh my god! Oh, that's really cool. I hope you're having fun on your, uh, oh, 21, that's a big deal. Congratulations on your 21st birthday. That's I hope so you're cool having fun. That's so cool that we've got someone watching from uh, Saudi Arabia as well. Because mm. when I was a kid, there was a friend who used to go to our, well, one of the schools that I went to, and they ended up moving away to go to Saudi Arabia. But then at, like, at summertime, they'd come back to stay in the UK, in the UK and yeah. we got to hang out again. I bet they thought it was cold here yeah. <laughs> compared to there. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, I remember going to that friend's uh, birthday party and being excited that they were in the UK again. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, happy, I hope you are having a fun birthday and thank you. That's very kind of you to want to share that with us. You're so sweet. We got a bunch of uh, Betty Spaghettis and I remember thinking, yeah. I want Betty Spaghettis. <laughs> Oh, 
thank you guys for saying happy birthday. But we love a birthday here, don't we? Unless it's mine. I don't like mine. But we can I like celebrating it. Yeah, cut that out. Adam brought steady company for Steph. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I might not be very organized, but I'm good at a routine, which is good for Steph's mental health. And autism. Yes. Amal says, I love that little mushroom friend. Isn't he sweet? I keep seeing, like, because I'm colorblind, I keep seeing, like, the leaves next to him as, like, little crab claws. It's like, it's like a crab mushroom. Oh, a crab. crab. Sounds fun. Yeah, I'm the crab shroom. Ponzo's like, oh, my dog's gonna eat his pinches, even in the bag. Samai, Samai, you live in the desert. If you came here in summer, it'd be so cold for you. <laughs> even our summer would be, like, no good. And so I says, thank you for all the wishes. You're so welcome. I do hope you have a wonderful day. Serena says, you guys really are so opposite from each other. You compliment each other. <laughs> I guess so in a lot of ways, yeah. But like I say, if, if Steph wasn't so different to me, like all the stuff that I have been exposed to and enjoyed, I never would. You know, if she was the same as, if she was the same as me, I'd get bored. <laughs> 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 He's really uninterested in himself, so if I was anything like him, he'd probably be like, Oh, you're like me. <laughs> Steph's like, so what do you like to do for fun? I'm boring. Well, I do think that helps, doesn't it? The variety is the spice of life. Steph told me earlier that spice is the spice. Well. <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah, that's true as well. <laughs> and you guys as well. The reason that I know all of you guys is because of meeting Steph as well. And all of you guys are really unique and interesting and lead interesting lives. And I love finding out about you guys and what you like to draw or what you like to get up to or what you work as or what you're studying and stuff. You're always doing like really interesting things. Do you teach me new things as well? What have I taught you lately? Like how to use the webcam so I can look at the pigs. And you do the live streams. I don't know how to do any of that oh, stuff. Oh, you can figure that out. That's I not hard. <laughs> and you taught me how to look after guinea pigs. Yeah, bye, bye. Hello, Forrest. How are you doing? Oh, Holland, are the tulips looking good? It's, that's around this time of year, isn't it? When all the tulips like come out and it's really colourful. What's the go-to tea brand in England? Steph likes Twinings because they make lots of cool flavours. Yeah, Twinings are a nice one. Oh, uh, is it Tea Pigs? Tea Pigs is another very good one, yeah. Can you manage this? If any need remixing, just pass them to me because I'm. She's fine now, but tomorrow she'll be like, I can't move my wrists. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be walking like a robot because she won't be able to move them. Oh my gosh, it's took us such a long time to find like this webcam. That's why we haven't been able to do like a traditional live stream in mm. such a, a long time. So I'm really pleased that we've got the webcam again. Back streets back. All right. <laughs> Yeah, really hoping. And we've also found the overhead tripod, which is how you manage to watch us from above. Because beforehand, we only had like tripods so that you could watch us, you know, like when we're sat Forward down. on, yeah. Like, like we used in the bathroom video that no one watched. But I'm not there with that. <laughs> I love that video. If you haven't seen it, please watch it. It's good. Oh, I like that crab. That's such a nice red for that crab, though. I really like that red. Daniela says no one watched the bathroom. It didn't do so great, yeah. I think it's one of those videos that you like. You know when you work on something and you're proud of it, but it doesn't resonate with the people and With anyone you else, yeah. I think it's one of those. Oh, thank you, Serena. 
Step slash is very contagious. We get told that quite a lot, which is interesting because when I used to work in uh, my pretzel cafe job, I was told that my laugh was annoying oh, to shut up laughing no, by like, so the mean. other co-workers. They're just jealous. They can't stand the idea of someone having fun in a work environment, but how dare you? How dare you? Did you name it something with bath bombs? Yeah, we did, not we? Um, Pitting with bath water or something. Oh yeah, we couldn't use bombs because YouTube's still like, and oh god, bombs! Although I tried a few different titles with it, but nothing seemed to really revive it. So. <laughs> but for those of you guys that did, we do really appreciate it because uh, I think that's one of my favourite videos. Yeah, I added it into our favourite videos playlist. I really enjoyed it, yeah. It was nice. Oh, Sua so says, I love the bathroom video. It actually got me to pick up some art after years. Oh, that's really sweet. Well, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Yeah, I've done a lot of the editing on the recent videos, but I'm so slow at it and it takes me such a long time to do it. But then I feel like I, I miss out on the next like upload or two because I'm so worn out from the last one. Oh my god, the dream would be like, you know those YouTubers that can go away for like two months and upload something? Yeah, and, and then just spend ages working on something. <laughs> I wouldn't want a million views. Oh, I, well, you know, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would. <laughs> That's like, oh no, I'm being perceived. <laughs> No, it, it feels more like maintainable when the support comes from things like Patreon or like Coffee. Because yeah, when yeah, it's yeah. like dependent on views. I'm all about the views. <laughs> you don't know if YouTube's going to support you in like a month's time, but. Well, you know, like, you know, all this Prime Energy drinks and stuff? Yeah. I'm thinking of releasing my own called Paint Water. Paint water. <laughs> and it comes in all kinds of different colours and stuff. What favourite paint water is yours? I like the brown one. That's all the colours mixed together. That's meant to be like a little crab mushroom growing on a beach. It's like, man, pick me if you dare. That's really cool. You've done, your art style blends so well to like uh, bold, like opaque colours. It works so well. I like working with the bright colours and shapes. What are you doing there? Babe. Barber. A green circle. Oh, is that a lily pad? No. It's a green circle. Again, request an Adam or pick paint video. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for $2, Serena. It's been safely added to the no pile. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. Oh, I can't say that to Serena. Serena's really nice. <laughs> Arundo says, I think it's also very sweet that Steph prefers to rely on the support of regular viewers. Mm, absolutely. Me too, you know. Well, I wouldn't have necessarily said that like when our channel first started, because we used to so like easily get at least like 20,000 views on each video. But these days, it's so hard to predict whether something's actually going to get the views or not. Well, there's trends and there's a lot more people that use and make things uh, yeah, these Yeah, there's a lot days. more people who make uh, videos. People always videos. say as well, like, oh, you need to have, like, a set brand. And I feel like we do so many things. It's kind of hard to pinpoint us. Uh, we don't really show up on Google anymore, which is a bit worrying. We're like the cult art channel, you know, when people get, like, a cult following. We're like that. We definitely still get, um new subscribers coming along it's just we have more people unsubscribing 
But I do think a lot of the people who unsubscribe, um, there might be bots and stuff. We've had the account for such a long time. A lot of them are like close accounts who just don't have YouTube anymore or whatever. Or like they're finally getting rid of the email they made in school yeah. and they're getting a new one. Multimedia, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah, when you Google do that, it shows the game. Yeah, the game. Yeah, that's when things started to go off a bit. Ugh, the channel. Yeah, it's weird how it shows the game because we've been. I don't know. I, I don't want it to sound like you know. Greater than thou, but like. We were around before and after the game, and the game is still ranks higher than uh, what we do. We just seem very invisible. Sometimes I wonder if we should try to change the channel name to like Adam and Steph or Steph and Adam. Or... Well, I mean, we could. But there is another channel that are called like Steph and Adam or something. That's not fair. <laughs> We just have common names. <laughs> Can't have a doodle day. Can't use my own name. <laughs> that was my attempt at trying to draw a honeydew melon. Oh, button. that's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like the ones that are in Yoshi's story. Do you remember that game? <laughs> yeah, it looks like them. That's awesome. You gonna let me draw something? Or are you gonna yeah. hug it? Would you like to have a? <laughs> just sat there drawing. Don't let me have a go. Although Put that page will still be quite wet. So I'll sit and let it dry. Don't worry. Oh, okay. And I won't draw on the opposite side because I respect it. Oh yeah, my boy's in the seat. <clears throat> it's me. I'm just gonna let this dry a second. Put Doodle Day in the titles. You reckon that'll work? I used to put those in the titles, and then someone from YouTube told me to stop putting it in the titles. So, uh, but everyone you talk to tells you to do something different, so I'd... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Guys, we just want to be successful and make videos for you guys, and stream too, like it. I just want enough to pay the rent. Yeah, we're place. not greedy. We're not like we don't want to be like Mr. What's his name? The Animal Man. He's, the animal he's really rich and lets blind people see and all that stuff. <laughs> lets them? <laughs> what he does, he paid them. He paid them and they could see. Something like that. I didn't watch it. Mr. Mr. Beast, is that his name? He's always got his mouth open. <laughs> he does. We can't talk. We're always in thumbnails. <laughs> You go look for a video now, you'll see it, he'll have his mouth open. Oh, you could do like a zoom in. A That's what I'm going to do before yeah. I turn out, because these are the gold and silver ones, and I think you'll be able to see these guys. Hold on. I'm going to bring it up close and then focus it for you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Can you see the two gold and silver ones there? They do catch the light quite. The other ones are very, very matte, but the, those were. Gosh, you can see it's shining straight yeah, into the you camera. Can see it. Very nice. Yeah, because the other ones are very, very matte. They don't reflect at all. And but those the, two are lovely. The doodle bit text at the bottom there with the sparkly Oscar pens. Oh yeah, there's some in there, isn't there? There's some glitter in there. It's definitely got like a shimmer to it. Oh, look at the art, bitch. Isn't it cute looking? Look at that. The yellow went down so smooth, didn't it? I quite like the yellow. Right, let me draw something. Is it dry? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Even dry. the melon that just grew. Even the melon. Coco melon. That's another thing that's really popular. 
Could we melon? could we do drawing cocoa melon with melon juice or something? We might get like this kid's content. God damn it. Cocoa melon drawing cocoa melon with melon juice. And cocoa melons holding a gun. <laughs> something like that. Let's <laughs> make it like adult content. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, it's so smooth. What do I want to draw? Do I want to try and draw Funzo? One Funzo the male? I don't know what to draw. You were so eager to get me out that chair so you could draw. I'm just worried about your, your hips. Well, those, hips. Two, those two. I'm worried about your wrists. Smile wants a gecko. Uh, I could. I'll have to have a look at a picture of one yeah, just to make sure. Because you know what I'm like. I'll probably draw like a chameleon or something. What does a gecko look like? I saw a video recently of someone performing CPR on a gecko, and it, it the the dude brought it back to life. This little gecko. This guy was in a bar, and the gecko had fell into his beer, and he managed to like pluck the gecko out, but it wasn't breathing. And he held it in his hand, and he gave like really gentle CPR to it, and was gently pushing his chest with one finger, and it brought it back to life. And it like uh, it was like fine, and it was like crawling around. I like little geckos. They're cool looking. Are geckos the ones whose tails fall off to distract you? I'm not sure. I just know that uh, when my dad lived in Spain, he used to get little lizards that used to run around the walls. Oh, well, in Spain, yeah, I can imagine. There was lots of things I was scared of in Spain, such as jumping spiders, <gasps> but I quite enjoyed watching the lizards running up my bedroom walls. <laughs> Geckos can climb glass? Yeah, Whoa. it's like they can just like, scale any surface. Should we give him like just really, really, really big on the roof? Oh, no, baby! With their magical toes! I like that. I want to scale any surface. Like those uh, people who do, is it free running or free climbers or something? Oh, that's scary, yeah. I watch some videos of people doing that, and then I normally like hide behind my blanket for the entire video because I'm so scared they're gonna fall. He's gonna <laughs> die! Help him! I don't think I've ever seen any power lizards before. Little lizard man. You have to see if I'm drawing one. I think so. They're not really like my go-to. I wanted to draw like a little dumpy one. <laughs> dumpy, dumpy baby! Might redo his spay. Oh, Rethan says, this is how cute. This is cute. Oh, thank you, Rethan. I just want to fix his eyeballs. I want to give him like. I was thinking, like, should I do like just regular sized ones? But I would like him to have like some really big ones. Like just just gigantic eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Whoa. He's like he's fresh out of his mum. Look at the world, mum. Should we give him like his little tiny like yeah. Like cats do that, don't they? Oh, that's my medication alarm. If anyone's got medication that they need to take, this is your reminder from Steph. Take your pills! Where there we go. Should we give him like really I really want to use the black to give him like really big dark eyes. See, I have no 
only go for like flat last because um, it's such like an overpowering color that might bleed into other things. No. Okay. <laughs> I have took what you've said into account. No, you haven't. <laughs> and I say no. Already took my iron, but thanks for the reminder. Oh, well, glad you've taken it. I was looking through my art files last night of the uh, Doodles Amazing. Oh, that really? Yeah, and it was fun looking back on all like the comics that I drew for that. I would love for you to do another one. Our doodles and... You could do one covering our moving process and call it Doodles on the Move. I have so many fun things that I want to work on, and then I only have so much life. <laughs> I only have so many more years. <laughs> I never know like what I should be focusing on because I've got so many things that I like to work on. I've been doing Una stuff. Yeah, you've been working on uh, Una too. Electric Boogaloo. Una Tuna. That's what you can call the second one. Tuna Tuna. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, look at mm, big eyes. What order of immortality for Stan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the solution to my problems. <laughs> that's what it can be called, like doodles and me coming to terms with death. What <laughs> anthology of comics? An anthology of my life. work in progresses on the wall and throw darts at them to decide stuff. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that could work. I, I feel like um, when I get into like the video editing, a lot of like other projects then start to lag behind because it, it feels like my work becomes like the video that comes out each week. So mm -hmm. my focus has been on that recently. I don't know if that's a good thing, is that a bad thing? Is it good to focus on the YouTube channel? Is it bad to focus on the YouTube channel? Who knows at this point, dude? <laughs> what colour tongue? Let's do this colour. A very special episode of Grieving with Gouache, featuring the existence crises. <laughs> God, if it was Gouache, I'd already be dead. What color should I? I kind of want to do them in like the really bright yellow because it'll contrast the eyes really nice. So I might do that. Panic with pastels. <laughs> we need something to do with uh, what is it called? The oil crown? So. What they're called. Oil crayon? Pastels. Oil pastels, yeah. making them all scratchy. Yeah, they are very scratchy, these ones. They're a lot better for um, doing like the line art and like little detail. There are the acrylic uh, markers next to you, but Tara sent the brush ones if you want. I can give them a try. Is there like a really bright yellow in this? Yeah, there should be. Open, open. Oh, this one. Yeah, there you go. You <laughs> found it yourself. I'm a smart boy. Is it the small? I think it is, Christina. Yes. 
Just because they're small, they struggle a bit more. How smooth that goes on me. Yes. Oh, these love this paper, gosh. That goes on so smooth. Wow, that's so, that's so, so, gosh. Because the paper itself is so smooth and this is like a brush tip, it goes on just like, mm. Oh, Blackheart is Phoenix. Is Adam, any tips for using a 16B pencil? I just received one for that. I won't lie, I didn't know that existed. So I would say, go, don't be heavy handed with it. Because it, that will never erase. <laughs> What's the darkest one that you've used? Was it 12B? 14, I think. 14. 16. You just keep making them. Yeah, just be careful with it, God. You'd have a great smudgy time with it, but... Yeah, well, that'd be... Yeah, yeah, you'd be able to do so much cool stuff with values and, like, smudging it and stuff because it's so dark. So you could have a good time doing, like, a grayscale picture, maybe, or something like that. I'm taking steps advice so I'm gonna do the lines last. It's rare you take my advice. Because it's uh, an art supply that I don't have any experience with. <laughs> I was like, oh. It's probably more like charcoal. It, well, it, it's gonna be super dark. Yeah, definitely. What's the difference between like a pencil and charcoal? Like, is it a completely different, like composite that is made of? Yeah, one's charcoal and one's graphite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really sarcastic, <laughs> but that's the only answer I can really give you. It sounded really sarcastic. My hand was very messy just from sharpening. I remember it got really messy when we were using that tub of like graphite stuff. Oh, I love that. Or was it charcoal powder? It was powder. Some kind of powder. Steph was terrified to have it in the house with me around. You're always a fan of like the messiest start supplies. Oh, it's fun. I like getting messy. We'll put some like markings and stuff on them as well when we draw things. Were you ever allowed to like uh, paint in like your house when you were growing up? No. Was it considered too messy? Yeah. Like felt tips and stuff? That was okay. But yeah, I was mostly something. allowed to use like felt tips and... Although my nana used to set up the table for me to do painting, but she'd make sure to put like newspapers down yeah, first. Yeah, that's, and... that's uh, really nostalgic. Like, because we would do that in school when we were little. Like the smell of the smell of like poster paint and newspaper combined. That's yeah. like a very uh, a nostalgic smell. I'll have to let some of this dry because I want to put some some markings on them as well because it looks like geckos have the uh, i've never really looked that closely at one but uh, it looks like uh, geckos have some quite cute markings some have like black ones and stuff so we could try that you can use water no you're absolutely right yeah you can oh, i like that that's a good <clears throat> Have you ever thought of painting on a wall? Not in a rented property. <laughs> We'd love to, like in our own, like when, yeah, when we have our own place, that'd be really, really nice. Yeah, I'd have a good time doing it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah, the blue complements with the yellow so nicely. I know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm go I'm going I for didn't say that you don't. I'm going for doodle date colors, see? Blue and yellow. Doodle date gecko. I'm not even sure if we could put removable wallpaper on these walls because it's all like popcorn. It's yeah, it'd, it'd, come, it'd come off all horrible, wouldn't it? Yeah. I might use the black one of uh, the second. Mm, that's the right one. Thank you, dear. A plasterboard, maybe. Sweeper says, Adam, this is precious. Oh, thank you. Might give him a big mark in some of my eyebrows. Ooh, what a fancy boy. He's a fancy baby. Smiles already decided that this is going to be March. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. It doesn't look that good. Oh, I like the markings that you do in Adam. Oh, like the little teardrop shaped ones. That's cheating. That's just using the pen. <laughs> it's not cheating. That's it's mark making. That's not me. And give him like little spotty legs. I need him in my house. <laughs> <laughs> you were there, cute gecko. Get in my house. He's cute. Aww. You guys are very sweet. Use the other one to do some thinner lines. He's friend shape. He has an uplifting presence. He does. <laughs> I don't know what to say when I'm doing these. I feel like I have to concentrate doing the lines and then like <laughs> no one wants to watch like a, a silent stream. No, I'm having fun just watching you doing the lines, that's why I'm quiet. <laughs> oh thank you, I'm very sweet. Those eyebrows say he's plotting Sonic a bit naughty. <laughs> he is plotting naughty. He's got the same sort of stance as Creston when he stands on top of his house. Yeah, he, he does. Wants to keep like, yeah. <laughs> Samal wants many, many lizard things in their house. You 
his desert. <laughs> Banana friend, I gently smooch his head. I gently smooch him. I'm working on my graphics portfolio and glancing here for company. I appreciate you making the effort to talk. Oh, well, that's very yes. thank you. That's and good luck with your uh, portfolio as well. Yeah, you got this. You can do it. I have every faith in you. They also have like kind of like white tummies. That'd be quite fun to do. Peel him. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of shaped like a lemon, isn't he? He's quite lemon. I'm a little baby. And this one has like, he has like a white chin as well. I'm looking at like a reference one, so I'm like, ooh. Christine says, I love when Adamo draws animals. Oh, thank you. I, I don't think I'm very good at it, so that's why I, I tend to, to stay away from it. Let's give him his little white chin, because that's what this gecko has to be. I think it shows proof that you like animals when you draw. I do like animals. I do. And then he has his little chest bit that seems to go to what's down here. This just says you draw the cutest animals I know. Well, thank you. You stylized them so well. Same, out of the square animals. He says, yes, Adam's drawing is great. Kago Maid says, time to make pick. Oh, and your friend Dinky Binky says, I love it when you draw animals. Oh, well, thank you, Dinky Binky. <laughs> That's a big compliment, thank you. I want to draw a guinea pig, though. Know. I just want to say thanks to being sweet people for just being here. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh, I think I can guess what this animal is going to be. <laughs> is it that obvious? <laughs> You've got the, the beam shape down. Is it that right? Remembered whiskers this time. Yes. <laughs> he normally forgets whiskers when he draws. One of all their ears, yeah, the poor thing. Should we do like like a long haired pig? Yeah, but like with different like colours or something. Maybe like a peachy and orange one. Oh, uh, one of those is more of like a sand color and the other one's pale yellow. Hmm. It could work. <laughs> okay. You might have sort of like a, a saffron crest and a collar to it. Mm hmm, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's a bit more of like a patches color, that one. Buff. Buff. Buff, baby. Motorcycle interlude. Yes, we get a lot of noisy traffic where we live now. It's gonna be a long head, baby.
It's a fluky baby, it is. My cat is like, look what can you do over there. Oh, you have short attention spans. Sounds like Adam. <laughs> yeah. It's a cat after my own heart. <laughs> My attention spans like better than mine. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'm really bad for it, but Steph's very good. Like, you can read books and things as well. I can't do that. I find it hard to uh, like change tasks, but if you give me like one task at hand and told me to just focus on that for like an entire day or week, I'd be able to do you, it. Yeah, definitely. Yes, but if you told me that I've got to work on something for an hour and then switch to another task for an hour and then another task for mm -hmm. an hour, it's not gonna happen. Oh, well, <laughs> No, you do a very good job. Certainly better than me. You have different strengths. <laughs> I hope so. Such as uh, putting up shelves. Yeah. <laughs> Menial labor. Swiffering the flaws. <laughs> I'd be heartbroken if you started swift for Oh, dude, if I took a few jobs from you. Yeah, me, yeah, uh, drinky. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, I pride myself on that. It's like, <laughs> Steph can't do this as good as me. If you swifted and it was better than me, oh my god, my life. <laughs> That's a beautiful colour. I think so, Phoenix, too, yeah. It's a very Creston colour. It does, it reminds me of uh, Creston here. Now obviously I'm going to be uh, painting over a lot of the details, but we'll, be, uh, we'll put those back in. Uh... Oh, I love the big couple of the paint markers all over you. And there's, oh god, they're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> We're definitely spoiled for choice with colours. He says as he does the pig in two colours. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping they'll start to layer like this down here. So it'll look like he has like layers of fur. That's what I'm hoping they'll do. You're right, I, I haven't ruined it yet. Is there still time? <laughs> Mates and Tian realized all the art friends would probably love my bug. It's a mushroom. Oh, that's oh, a mushroom bucket. I know it'd go down well with someone who lives in this place. <laughs> You can kind of see it. I'm trying to like layer it. It just depends on how it's going to dry. We'll see. What do you think of uh, having a separate sketchbook for Oscar pens? I don't know if I would use it. <laughs> I still don't feel confident in them. Well, you're using it right now. And I don't feel safe. <laughs> 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 You're feeling insecure. Don't feel safe right now.
that giant whiskers. Whoa. I don't know how to do like this. Maybe I'll do like a smaller one. It sounds kind of like Hollywood music. Oh, Julia says, hi guys. Hello, Julia. How are you doing? Dorinda says, glorious buzz. Oh, Sugar Crystal says, hello, hello. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Sure, how to go about doing like the hair at the bottom, so I might just do like a few straight, just you know, to show that the fur is there, but not really like join any lines up. Draw some stars around him because he's beautiful. <laughs> I'm so floof. Do you like him? I did his whiskers a bit too fat, but that's okay. He says, Do not hate me because I am beautiful. Should we do some like 80s shapes around? This music's very 80s. Should we do some like 80s shapes like zigzags and stuff? Maybe a zigzag there, maybe a zigzag over here. She says you can always fill the whiskers with the marker afterwards. That's true, yeah. We can give that a try, that's not a bad idea. Should we try using this one? We do like a, should we do like a circle? I like the red, yellow, blue. Oh, do you like, yeah, do you like it? Let's have a look for some more shapes. What are you Googling shapes? Hmm. How about a triangle? Good call. <laughs> Thank God you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Googling shapes? <laughs> you ain't no art student, am I? No, sorry. Just for that, I'm going to do a square. Oh, don't worry, this will all make sense. I just want him to be like an 80s icon pig. Oh, Froyo says a dodecahedron. <laughs> what? How many sides does that have? Isn't that the one that has 12? I think so. And I think the 10's a decagon one. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know how many slides an octagon has? Eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go, right. Do you know how many a septagon has? Seven. I don't even know if that's a ship. <laughs> what is a seven sided ship called? A septagon. Is it actually a septagon? I think so. I think so. Isn't that right, guys? Daniela, thank you for coming along. We oh, appreciate thank it. Thank you, Daniela. You're a superstar. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it makes sense if you've got like hexagon, septagon, octagon. Yeah, the. Together I love it how we're in like an impromptu maths exam. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean a nine-sided one is a nonagon? I think it's a nonagon. 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 I, th I think. It sounds like the surname for someone who's called Jillian. Jillian Nonagon. <laughs> yeah. Inventor of the nonagon. He is meant to be an 80s icon. Well, he's got the hair. I think I prefer the pig over the gecko, I won't lie. But that, I think that's because I've just drawn more pigs than geckos, if I'm honest. I've never seen you draw this before, but I think you've done a really good job with it, considering. Oh, praise. No, oh, you love your praise. <laughs> praise me more. <laughs> House we ever wanted to film a doodles and tea. Do you reckon we'd be able to? Well, we, it's the same sort of thing as what we're doing here. Yeah, but we'd need to have like two chairs pulled up. Well, I reckon that we could. Or if we oh, sat on the floor with that one. Yeah. Because we can't clamp onto the table here. Because we used to have a breakfast bar that we used to clamp onto. Yeah. We never used it for breakfast, but we did use it for doodles and tea, which was nice. Oh, that's covering up the lines really nicely. I'm using Istra's advice. <laughs> I do really like it with these guys that you can let them dry and then layer over them again and, and make them mistakes. yeah make them really opaque and stuff. It's nice. Let that dry. Just like Funzo. I love me some Funzo. Hey, Sancho, have a movie. We've also got um, a Lego set that we want to build in like a video yeah. for like the Steffa Socks one because it was my Valentine's Day gift. I got Steffa Valentine. You could probably show them if you know where. I think the box is behind you if you want me to show them. Because I, I know you guys like Lego and stuff. If you guys want to see the set that we want to do together. Let me know if you get stuck. Oh. Well, you manage it. I reckon we'll be able to put that as like decoration for the house somewhere or other. Mm. Yeah, this is what I got Steph um, for Valentine's. Oh, there we go. It fits in there. That's what I got her. It's like a, a Lego set that might, you. Uh... This might look nice on that wooden shelf that we've got that we haven't put up yet. Yeah, that might be good. Ooh. 
That'd be pretty cool. You guys like it? It, it makes succulents that don't die. Isn't it great? <laughs> I'm trying to angle it because the box is very shiny, so you guys can see that, okay, yeah? Yeah, I'm really loving that like they've started doing like uh, botanical ones. Yeah, they, that's not the only one as well. They do one that you put in like a vase and it's yeah, different that flowers. Yeah, really cute one as well. Meet me about it, I remember, because when mm. it's um, put in like a pile of like boxes, I forget it's there. Oh. Yeah, if you guys are into it, it'll just be like sort of like a long... There probably won't be a lot of editing on it because of the nature of it. You'll probably want to see the process of it, but uh, that'll be a fun one to do if you guys uh, want to see it. So cool. Oh, you guys, you're very supportive. I appreciate that. Also, feel free to let us know what kind of videos that you'd be interested in seeing on like the channel. Mm -hmm. Whether it be here or on the steps. I want to try and draw fun as well next time. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a Lego bonsai tree. I've seen that one. And it's made up of like frogs. Oh, sincerely, Cam. Hello. Hello, Cam. How are you? My Fonzo looks a little bit nervous, but that's like my, uh, that's my law for him. Very, very <laughs> he does nervous. kind of look nervous in real life, so that's fine. Where was the brown one that you found? Um, it's in that box. This one? Yes. I, I want to draw buttons though. Jordan says, I am back and I'm surprised that you're still going. Everything's so cute. Oh, this is like that. We we stream for like a really long time on Twitch and the Patreon ones are really long as well. But I quite enjoy watching um, live streams on YouTube. I watch quite a few of them. So. Yes. It's definitely, they reckon at the minute YouTube's one of the best place to do streams, whether it be art or otherwise. They reckon YouTube's a place to be doing it at the moment. And we were thinking, oh, it's, been a, it's been a minute since we did one of the videos. Well, also because we uh, lost the webcam in the moment. But exactly, we yeah. Found it. <laughs> and we were like, oh, jeez. We went through every box in the house. And it was the last one it that we went through. It was the last one that we went through. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. But at least we found it. I can't forget it like his jiggly nose. Battledove says, I made it to the stream and those are cute animal friends. Oh, thank you. It's nice when streams just sort of, uh, I mean, sort of like a low pressure, like, doodle. Well, you can just talk about and draw whatever, you know. I like my 80s guinea pig. I think he's the favourite. Because he has colours that Preston and Patches have as well. He might be like a friend of theirs. Was there any stuff that was substituted in the shop when it came? I forgot to ask. Your Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> was that the only thing? Yeah. Oh, cool. I got stuff. Do you guys know what Yorkshire puddings are? 
I think it's a British thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I showed a picture on Twitter of a toad in the hole recently, and a lot of people were like, what the heck's that thing? It's like a pancake bath, though. Yes, that's what, well, that's what a Yorkshire pudding is, yeah, it's made out of pancake batter. But a toad in the hole is like a, a pancake batter with sausage in it, it's very yummy. Serena said, is it sweet or savoury? It's a savoury one, but you can, Yorkshire puddings you can have as sweet or savoury. Like some people have them with like gravy, some people have them with jam. Have you never seen someone have Yorkshire puddings with sweet things until you met me? It's just one of those other things. Because <laughs> I remember you were like, why are you putting like golden syrup on Yorkshire puddings? And I was like, it's just pancake batter. Yeah. And you were like, what? I was like, oh, what? what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was very surprised. I'm just trying to sound smart in front of everyone, honey. Shh. What's your opinion on stargazer pie? What? I've never heard of that. Is it like a whoopie pie? Whoopie. <laughs> or a moon pie? A toad in the hole is an egg in the middle of toad. No, I think that's a different name. I think. What's it called? Um, I'm not on about like scotch egg, because that's a different thing. But I've seen you sometimes have like a slice of meat with like an egg in the middle of it. Oh, that's just like a pork pie with egg in. But it's not a pie. It's just like a slice of meat. Yeah, it's a slice of that pie. It's oh. from it's from like a really big one. But god, those cost a fortune. You only get like a slice. <laughs> I might make him um, sleepy. Who's your sleepy man? Oh. <laughs> I love scotch eggs, I'm just terrible at making them so silly. Oh, they're hard to make, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are very hard to make. I'll buy vegetarian ones. Yeah, you like those. Steph gets those corn ones. Corn, not corn. Corn <laughs> ones. It's the vegetarian, you know, corn. And this is, this is making me hungry, lol. <laughs> Everyone always says that whenever we do a stream. We, we always have like a food section, don't we? <laughs> we? We're always talking about food and stuff. And, but that's the thing, because you're all from all over the place, right? Uh, you have stuff over there that like we don't have and vice versa and it's like interesting to hear about your favorite foods and stuff that we don't get here because I'm like oh I want to try that you know yes droop waffles dinky yeah Steph loves droop waffles <gasps> yes I do really like droop waffles especially when you leave it on top of like a hot chocolate for a while and it goes all like melty and chewy <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah that's the good stuff chewy chewy droop waffles I've been really obsessed with bubble tea recently. Yeah. You guys like bubble tea as well, right? I've been trying to find one that I like. Steph lets me try hers, but I still haven't found one that I'm a fan of. Cam says, I've been watching you guys since middle school, and now I'm finally finishing freshman year of college. <gasps> wow, congrats. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Congratulations. That's a big deal. And thank you for uh, supporting us for such a long time as well. Oh my god. That is a long time. So you say that you're not confident with using pen pens, but I think that these are coming out looking great. You reckon? Yeah, I, I really like them. I think these look a bit cool. I feel like they'd all work really well as stickers. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, they're really like shapely and graphic. I hope you don't mind, I gave Funzo eyelashes. That's fine. <laughs> what you if have I long give him eyelashes like, too. I wonder if I should give him like big pupils as well. So he looks kind of like a Powerpuff girl. Well, we're doing it now. <laughs> well, you can always paint back over it if you don't like it.
Oh yeah, it's not so bad. <laughs> what can it say? What can it say? Bunza. No. Ow. You can say, "Don't panic." It's Bunza's famous catchphrase. <laughs> Set it with uh, black as well, so you'll be able to see it better. Oh, that's right, don't paint. <laughs> don't, don't paint him. Oh, no. Kate says, You guys are still going. Yes, we are. And it's nice to see you. Do people not stream long on YouTube? Are they all lightweight? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is easy. Streaming is easy. Everyone also says these would make cute stickers. Don't panic. Don't panic now. I'll just let that dry a second. And then you'll see what I mean. And then do his nostril. Ooh, look at my nose. Do, 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 I'm playing with the pigs, I'm getting guinea pig hair all over. <laughs> I'm scared of Funzo now. <laughs> Why are you scared of him? Oh, oh, let's get them. Oh, let's get them out of my mama review. Oh, So the fierce. <laughs> What's changed? Why are you scared of him now? He's just trying to live his life. Fun's all baby. I think Funzo's cute. Do you think they're good? Are they good animals? Yeah, they're really good. Especially Funzo. He's a good baby. He's a baby. But guys, thank you very much for watching the stream. I appreciate you guys very much. If you're not subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe to us. We do lots of fun videos. And feel free to watch another one of our videos right now. Let's put something on screen for you guys, for the people that aren't actually here. <laughs> Until next time, guys, thank you very much. We love and appreciate you. And we will see you very soon. Bye-bye for now, our bye -bye. friends.